Across the divide, Scottish celebrity chef Nick Nairn is mixing the ingredients for his oatmeal bread. Tom's getting a running commentary. So, 250 grams of wholemeal flour, 250 grams of plain flour, 10 grams of salt, and 25 millilitres olive oil. Olive oil is always a key ingredient to good bread, isn't it? I think so, yeah. You know. Then in goes the activated yeast, sugar, water mix. It's supposed to make a well <laughs> in the middle. Hey! <laughs> and just in with the fingers and start bringing the whole thing together. The bread's going to accompany his seared smoked salmon with apple salad and horseradish cream. A dish that Nick thinks shouldn't be too fancy for the judges. Quickly pan fry a thick piece of smoked salmon and do it with a little horseradish cream. So mayonnaise, creme fraiche, grated fresh horseradish, strained out, just a little puddle of that. So three things, dead simple. Hang on though, back in the kitchen, has the TV chef lost the plot? I'm making oatmeal bread. Oatmeal bread? And there's oh. the oatmeal. Oh. <laughs> and it's not in the bread. Oh. I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> Even great chefs make a mess yes. of things. How much, can you rescue that situation? I don't know. I've never added it at this stage before. <laughs> I suppose it'll work its, its way in. Yes. Um, you're I'll leave that. I'll sort that out when you're not here. Ooh, I think Mr Nairn's a little embarrassed. <laughs> Let me show you this sign. A fish course following a fish course. Uh, I mean, I'd love it, because I just, yeah. you know, I always eat fish, and I love smoked salmon. Well, I'm no. almost willing to take a bet you will never have tasted smoked salmon quite as good as this. Mm. And I'll just take a, a little slice down here, take the belly off, and take a carve down here. Just taste this. Fantastic. I actually caught this myself. That very one? On the River Anne, yes. Is that how yeah. they... Where's it called? River Anne. You, you caught it. Hmm, well, Tom seems a bit sceptical, but we've got the proof. Until recently, Nick's been reluctant to share the passion for fly fishing of his brother-in-law, Chris. That's him on the left. They went to the River Urn in Perthshire to meet local ghillie John Young in pursuit of some Atlantic salmon. And what are they going to be feeding on now? They don't feed. Once they come into fresh water, they don't feed at all. They just stop feeding? Uh -huh, they yeah. stop feeding. Uh -huh. yeah. So they're living off all that fat that they built the, up? Yes. Uh -huh. Out in the seas, they've, they've built up great mounds of fat. And uh, when they take the fly, it's all aggression. So it's, it's something that's annoying them. Yeah, uh -huh. it's, it's uh -huh. something that's going past their territory, just in the front of their territory. So the closer mm. you get to the salmon, they the more snap. chance you've got of getting a reaction from the salmon. Right. So you reckon here, this is where we're going to go? This is a great yeah. place I mean, in this here. Is a perfect, but you don't need a long cast, just put it into the deep water and just try and hold it out in the stream as long as you can. Uh -huh. I've got some expert help today. Chris, who's actually my brother-in-law, who's a fantastic fisher, and has been trying to convince me for years that fishing is the biggest buzz you can get. I don't really believe him. So you're casting over your right-hand shoulder. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So, water for you. All right. So but what you want to do, Nick, is put one hand on the top of the rod and one uh -huh. hand on the bottom of the rod. Let go of the, the line. Right. Okay. And then just lift the rod up, push uh -huh. with the bottom hand, and then the reverse, push and pull with the top hand. That's it. Okay. After some expert instruction from Chris, Nick soon casting like a pro. Well, nearly. Ooh, too far. Right. Oh. <laughs> it's a rock salmon. <laughs>